what are we looking at here? Okay, so this is really interesting technology. So we build our own ASICs or, or chips that do all of our, our forwarding. Yep. I know in the past we've talked about different routers and different sizes. This is effectively the largest chip that, that can be built right now for forwarding packets. Um, it's a Silicon One based chip. Silicon One is the architecture that we use to build our, our next generation devices. Uh, it's what we call G200. G200 is the series of chip. It's the second generation of that G series family. And it's 51.2 terabits wow. of forwarding capacity. But who, who buys this stuff? Uh, we sell these to a lot of different people. And we, they're basically built into data center switches, but uh, hyperscalers and those that are deploying either massive, massive cloud infrastructure or a lot of AI infrastructure where they're connecting GPUs together, they'll buy thousands of these as they build out their data center. Now, I mean, without getting into like specific names, but I'm assuming it's people like Amazon, um, Azure, stuff like that in the, in the hyperscalers, right? Exactly. And then in data centers that people are buying this as well. Yeah, exactly. And so you think about it, yeah, when you're connecting large numbers of GPUs, you're building up uh, clusters to train the large language models, you need to have a lot of networking behind it. A lot of AI is actually a networking problem to solve, and so when you think about how network evolves, solving the problem of connecting first hundreds, then thousands, and now looking at hundreds of thousands of GPUs uh, is, is really a networking problem, and that's what devices like this are meant to solve.